Hey guys, today I have a little bit more of a serious video. There will be some bot killing towards the end, but it's gonna be a lot of talking. If you're new here, this really isn't my main type of video, but I feel like this is an issue that needs to be addressed. From the title and what's going on behind me, you can probably guess what the video is about. However, there might be some people that don't know, so I'm going to quickly explain anyway. You probably know what Twitch is or have at least heard of it. In case you haven't, it's a site owned by Amazon used to live stream video games. There are thousands of streamers, including this incredibly handsome one in the background. And if you've ever watched a Twitch stream, you've probably heard of Twitch Prime. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get a whole bunch of rewards for a million different games, including RuneScape. If you connect your RuneScape account to your Twitch Prime account, you will get membership and some other cosmetics. I don't really know what you get in RS3, I probably cosmetics as well. This isn't the first time Jagex have run a Twitch Prime promotion like this. This is probably like the fourth or fifth Twitch Prime promotion. Now you might be thinking, wow, free membership, what's not great about this deal? And this is where the clip in the background comes in. A lot of these accounts behind me are bots. Every time Jagex run a Twitch Prime event and give out free membership, it gets abused by botters. And that's what we're going to look into in this video. Kind of a long intro, I know, but it's worth talking about. Look at how many. I've never seen it this bad. Look! 40. Minus this guy and probably that guy. There were 40 there. I saw it said 40. Look at this. Are you kidding? This was about a week ago and this prompted me to make this video. I had never seen so many bots in one place. I decided to add a lot of the bots to see if they had their private on so I could kill them, but also to see if they got banned fast. This is the next day, same world. There's no one here. I don't know if their bots are just not running or if they all got banned. It looks like they got banned. They're not showing. I think they all got banned. I went through my friends list and checked the high scores to see how many bots had gotten banned and every single one except for one name got banned. And that person might not have even been a bot. In the first clip I had 142 people added to my friends list and I deleted 100 of them. So that means there were 100 bots. I went to go check other spots that low levels could bot at and no surprise there were a ton of bots there too. Here's another bot farm wearing purple. Look how many of these things there are. A lot of CX names. Look at this. I'm assuming they're doing cannonballs. Another world where there's a bunch of random names, extremely low levels. Theoretically could be alts, but again, they're wearing purple. They're all purple for Twitch Prime. Here's a video I found on Twitter with the most insane amounts of bots I've ever seen. It's a bit low quality because Twitter video sucks, but the amount of bots here is actually insane. I don't, I probably all mostly got banned, I hope. I have no way of knowing that, but I really hope they got banned. I went there myself in game and there was nowhere near this amount of bots. There was one or two per world, but there was no large bot farm like in the Twitter video. This is like two days later, the bots are already back. As you can see, there's an extremely high number of bots right now. You can probably go into the game to these three spots that I checked and see for yourself. These bots do get banned, but it doesn't matter because they can just make new accounts very quickly and come back right away with membership. They don't have to waste a bond. They don't have to waste $11. They basically lose nothing. When Jagex runs these Twitch Prime promotions, getting banned doesn't matter. It really seems like they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Now, I don't think Jagex are stupid. They're definitely not unaware of what's going on with Twitch Prime and all the bots it's causing, which leads me to believe there's some other reason why they're running these Twitch Prime promos that look so harmful. I understand that the main reason behind running these promos is to promote the game, hence the name promo. But does this way of promoting the game really work so well over the other ways that it's worth having all of these bots just wreaking havoc on the RuneScape economy? And there's really no way for us to know. To my knowledge, there haven't really been any numbers released about these Twitch Prime promos and how many new players it brings in. 
And even if there were, it's hard to determine where the line is. Obviously, if it brought in a million new players and just exploded the game, it would be worth it, but obviously that is not happening. It's impossible to tell just how many players it's bringing in. It would be really nice for Jagex to communicate something, acknowledge the harm and say it's worth it, release some numbers, you know, just do something. They haven't said anything. It's really frustrating to go all around the game and just see these bots everywhere. I really wish Jagex would stop these promos altogether or change it. There are plenty of other ways to promote your game successfully. You don't need to give a free trial as there's already a free to play version of the game available. If you really want to give out members, make it so the account getting the membership has to be a certain age. And I get that this wouldn't really draw in new players, but I think a lot of these promos are targeted at bringing people back to the game. There's also plenty of other options to promote the game, even on Twitch. There's paid advertisements and Twitch bounties to pay other streamers on the site who don't normally play RuneScape to introduce the game to their audience. Look at all the hype Soldier Boy brought in playing RuneScape. Who would have thought Soldier Boy would be grinding old school RuneScape in 2020? I feel like that did a huge things for the game. I know some of the biggest streamers like Shroud also used to play RuneScape and have played it on their stream before. For me, it's just really frustrating to see all of these bots everywhere I go in the game. I really hope Jagex changed something about the Twitch Prime promotion, whether that's getting rid of it altogether or changing it so that botters cannot abuse it. If there were going to be bots running around RuneScape like crazy, I thought I would have some fun with it. I went back to Yatizo, and to no surprise, there were purple bots buying the salmon and ore from the shops. Oh shit, 1.2 mil from this guy. Wow, that's, um, besides the salmon, that's the biggest cash yet. Maybe these guys, maybe the future is bright ahead with money. What, another 1.2 mil? It's bit, what are, why are they starting with so much? Oh, well, this is good. I'm, I'm down. If you wanna see more stuff like that, I have a whole video on it if you haven't seen it already. But that is where I'm gonna end the video. Let me know what you guys think what Jagex should do with the Twitch Prime promotion. I don't think I'm gonna do too much content like this in the future, but you never know. Maybe more problems will pop up. They always seem to. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, you know, do all that stuff. I will be back shortly with more bot busting and other random content.